Hey friends, this is Vidhan. Welcome you to my channel. Today we will see differential amplifier. First, we will see the case with open loop and then with feedback. So here, this is an operational amplifier, and we will use this operational amplifier to make a circuit of differential amplifier. So here I have used, here I have made the differential amplifier circuit by using operational amplifier. There is another way to make a differential amplifier by using two transistors and those two transistors should be well matched. That means basically there are two ways to make a differential amplifier either by using an operational amplifier like this or by using two transistors. But here we are talking about the circuit with op-amp. So we have taken two voltages V plus V minus. This V plus is the amount of voltage that is actually with respect to ground and the amount V minus whatever is the amount that amount is actually with respect to ground and output voltage that we know and that output is also with respect to ground. So all the voltages are always with respect to ground. Now since I want to use that output to drive some load that's why I give a load register here. Notice one thing that two input signals are there. If you can remember the other amplifier circuits, basically there are three amplifier circuits, inverting amplifier, non-inverting amplifier and differential amplifier. Now, if you remember the inverting amplifier circuit, there was only a single voltage supply to the negative terminal and positive terminal was grounded. And if you remember the non-inverting amplifier, then again there was a single voltage supply to the positive terminal and negative was grounded. But now for differential amplifier, both the inputs are having voltage supplies. So this is a difference from those two. Okay. Now what is the voltage at this point? At this point the voltage is V+. Plus. And what is the voltage at this point? It is V minus, same to this. The reason is that from here if you see that this through this register, again here is a huge resistance in series and going to this. So it is making a voltage divider circuit. And in this circuit, if we say there are three resistors, this one, this one and this one, out of these three, this one is a huge resistance. That means almost all of this voltage will be dropped across this and the drop across this is negligible and drop across this is negligible since drop across this register is negligible so the voltage we give here will also be available at this point because there is negligible drop and similarly for here from here if you see that this is making a voltage divider circuit and again most of this voltage should be dropped across this that means there should be negligible drop across this and negligible drop across this. So this voltage should be available here because negligible drop. Now you can see this is the open loop condition. I have not given any feedback and obviously it should be properly biased by DC voltage. Always remember that operational amplifier is an active device like transistor and diode and active devices cannot work without additional voltage supplies but if you remember passive devices like register transistor register not transistor inductor capacitor those passive devices if they are connected in a circuit then they would work according to their characteristics but they don't need any additional voltage supplies for their working but active components always need additional voltage supplies. That means this operational amplifier even if connected in the circuit, it cannot work without additional voltage supply. Even if there are input signals available, but it cannot process it unless and until you give it additional voltage supply. And that's why we always give additional voltage supplies to active components like op-amp, transistor, etc. We have to bias it. Okay, now this voltage point is this voltage point. Let me write down 
द आउटपुट वोल्टेज डायरेक्टली वी नॉट इज इक्वेस टू ए टाइम्स वी प्लस माइनस ऑफ वी माइनस इट इज़ वेरी सिंपल एंड वॉट इज ए ए इज द गेन द ओपन लूप गेन एंड वी कैन नॉट चेंज इट बिकॉज वी आर वर्किंग विद ओपन लूप कंडीशन वी नो दैट इफ यू बाय एन ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर सर्किट देन यू हैव यू विल बी गिवन अ स्पेसिफाइड गेन the gain is huge that is of the order of 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 6 but you cannot change it why you cannot change it we know that when we use the open loop condition then the gain will be the gain whatever that has been given that has been already specified but when we use the feedback circuit then we have a situation there where we can change the gain according to our convenience or whatever we choose but in open loop condition the gain will be whatever that has been specified initially that means we do not have any control over this gain this gain is used and therefore we don't have any control over this output and that is why this circuit is generally not used in practical always remember that all the circuits with open loop are not used practically because we don't have any control over gain and therefore we don't have any control over output so you are not choosing the output or you are not getting the output according to your wish so that's the problem similar for the inverting amplifier and non inverting amplifier case we saw that for inverter two cases open loop and feedback case and that open loop condition is not used practically it's just the condition with feedback that is used practically same for the non inverter there were two cases with open loop and with feedback the condition with open loop is not used practically but the condition with feedback is used practically because when we use the circuit in open loop then we don't have any control over the gain the gain is whatever that has been specified before by the manufacturer and this is very huge and that's why it's called open loop gain okay so this is our differential circuit with open loop and this is the output now let's see the differential amplifier with feedback all the voltages are with respect to ground this output voltage is again with respect to ground but i have used a load register across that voltage difference now i will give a feedback so here i have a feedback this is it one more thing always remember that in differential amplifier circuit with feedback this is the circuitry that obviously we expect it should be and there is one more resistance here in all practical differential amplifier circuit with feedback that means whenever you talk of differential amplifier with feedback then there will be four resistors this 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 let us name them R one, R two, R three, R four. This is V plus similar to this and V minus similar to that. Now, since this is feedback resistance, so we may also call it R F. So you may say it R two or R F. It doesn't matter. Now this voltage point. is again this output voltage point same point v not now one thing always remember 
that differential amplifier circuit with feedback this is the circuit this is the practical circuit in practical if you are using a differential amplifier or you are making a differential amplifier this is the circuit you have to make this is the circuit and there is a condition also which is involved that condition is that this r1 is always equal to this r3 that means whatever the resistance you choose here at this point at this place you have to put the same resistance and the second is this r2 should be equal to r4 so this is the set of conditions that you must use actually this is the condition that is used always used whenever you have been given a differential amplifier circuit then you just take it for granted that in this circuit there are four registers and these two registers are equal and these two registers are equal so you can take it for granted because this is the way how differential amplifier is made or how differential amplifier is realized in practical with the feedback so you have to take it granted and if not if you are if you are confused about that that whether they are equal or not sometime if you have a problem in that problem it will be specified it will be told that this resistance equal to this resistance and this resistance equal to this resistance actually this is mandatory condition and what is the output the output is r2 by r1 into v plus minus v minus now in this case the voltage at this point will not be same to voltage v plus because now we can see this is making a voltage divider circuit and the voltage at this point will be lesser than this v plus because there is a voltage drop but i am not going into derivation i am just writing the output i have written it down v output and that's mean that means v output is r2 and r2 we can write rf so it's just rf by r1 into v plus minus v minus and this output this formula rf by r1 into v plus minus v minus this output formula is possible if we have used this condition always remember but practically this is the condition that is always there and this is the output formula but if you don't use that condition then this is not the output formula the output formula will have a very large expression a huge expression a big expression and we cannot afford to have that much big expression for output obviously we want to simplify that and that is why this condition is used and finally we have this simplified output form but you don't need to bother about that the reason is that always this circuit is in this shape whenever you talk about differential amplifier with feedback this will be the circuit two voltage supplies will be there four registers will be there and these registers will be equal and these two registers will be always equal and therefore always the output voltage will be like this now its derivation we will do in my next video thank you